day, a mouse who lived in the city went to visit his friend. His friend had left the city a while back and began to live in the country. After his long journey, the city mouse had finally arrived next to his friend in the village. This place smells awful. How do you live in such a place? After a long and tiring walk, the city mouse finally arrived at his friend's field. The country mouse had made himself a house under the ground. This is where he lived. How does my friend live in such a bad environment? I still don't understand. The city mouse knocked on the door. The country mouse opened the door. He was very surprised and at the same time, he also was very happy to see his friend. Welcome, my friend. What brings you to this side of the town? I was bored from the city life. I've been meaning to come and see you and the way you live for some time now. But I can see that you're not all that happy. Says who? Why don't you come inside and I'll prepare something to eat? They both came in. The city mouse was amazed to see the inside of his house because the country mouse was living in a dark, small, airless little hole. What a dark and tiny home you have! How do you live here? The country mouse had prepared something for his friend to eat. On the table were a piece of cheese, lettuce, carrot and kernels of corn. Come on, my friend. Enjoy this dinner. The city mouse had a look at all that was on the table and said, You call this a feast? Back where we live, the mice won't turn and have a second look at this type of food. We have cakes, pastries, variety of cheese and meat. You can find anything you desire in the city. After the city mouse had finished his meal, they began to walk around the country mouse's hometown. The city mouse did not like where the country mouse was living at all. These type of places are not for my liking at all. It's very dirty and boring. You must visit my hometown one day. I should take you around the city. You must see it. I'm sure you won't come back here. The following morning, the two friends said their farewells. Soon after they had parted, the country mouse decided to visit his friend in the city. And so he began his journey. After a long journey, he arrived in the city. The country mouse arrived at his friend's house according to his friend's directions. The city mouse was living in an apartment. The country mouse was shocked when he saw where his friend was living. This huge house is yours? Um... Not exactly. I'm sharing the house with the landlords. I'm very hungry. Show me that amazing feast you were talking about. The city mouse entered the kitchen, opened the fridge door, then took cheese, meat and a variety of vegetables and fruit. He put them on the table and as they began to eat, they heard a cat meowing. <coughs> The city mouse jumped to say, Oh no, the cat of the house heard us talking. We must hide. Follow me. Both mice entered a hole in the wall and got away. Out of breath, the country mouse asked, You live in the same house with a cat? Isn't this dangerous? It sure is, but this is the price I have to pay if I want to live in luxury and wealth. After a short while, the cat left the kitchen and they came out of the hole and continued to eat. A while later, they heard the street door open and the city mouse panicked. Come on, hurry up and run. The landlord came, run before she sees us. The mice ran back to the little hole and the country mouse, out of breath, asked once again. <laughs> this time, I don't know why we ran. The lady landlord, doesn't she know you live here? Of course she doesn't. People are very dangerous. How do you live in a house like this? Well, it has its days, of course, but I'm very happy living this way. Look at this. I can eat whatever I want whenever I want. 
It's safe to go. Come on, let's continue eating. The country mouse got out of the hole, but as soon as he got out, he walked towards the door and began to complain. No, thank you, mister. I have lost my appetite. This much fear is enough for me. I'm leaving. Where are you going? I'm going back home. My house might not be rich, but I live in peace with my freedom. I'd rather live in peace and feel free than to live in fear all the time. And so the country mouse returned to his poor lifestyle and continued to live happily. And he never returned to the city ever again.